Hello and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at how we can read data in from the console and, and, and display it out. Okay, our learning outcomes for this uh, lesson will be uh, how we can capture data from the console. Um, after we've captured that data, we want to assign this data to a variable and after we have that uh, assigned to a variable, we then want to display this data out onto the screen. Okay, so let's hop over to the code and look at an exercise on how we can do this. Okay, so here we are in the code view, and uh, back at C Sharp, I've declared, uh, I've opened up a new project here. I've called it Read Write, um, and I'm going to start off by declaring two variables: first name and last name. So these will be two strings. Uh, I'll call it first uh, uh, st name. And uh, I won't initialize these uh, um, because I want to initialize these from the console. I want to read in what the first name and last name would be. Um, so another string, and I'll call this last name. What am I doing here? String last name. Uh, okay, and terminate the line. Now again, uh, the, you can see there. There's no need for me to type in two there. As you, you would have seen there from the last. Uh, uh, one of our early, earlier videos that I could have actually declared this like this just a comma and last name here uh, so again it saves a, a line of code there a string for where the variable type is the same just uh, you can put them on a, a line like that so first name last name so I have two variables two string variables first name last name and what I want to do now is I want to find, I want to re write them out and first read them in from the console. So uh, as if we think of C Sharp reading down the page, or the, down the, the program here, uh, what I'm going to do is first ask a question. Uh, so my first question will be a console uh, write line. And what I want to do here is just ask the question, uh, what is your first name? Okay, or enter your first name. Uh, your first name. Fairly simple there. Okay, uh, now when somebody enters their first name, so <clears throat> they'll get that, uh, it'll come down to the next line. And what we want, we want to do is read that off the console. Uh, so what I'm going to use there is the console uh, read line method. However, I want to assign that to a variable. So this is where I'm going to initialize the variable first name. So here's first name, and I want to initialize that. So first name, as you can see there, uh, it's uh, showing me the local variable. There's a, an object, and I'm going to assign this to console, the console dot, dot read line method. Okay, and we will pop that in there. So. Uh, what's happening here is, first of all, the question will be asked, uh, enter your first name. Somebody types in their first name and that's going to be captured by the read line method and assigned to the variable first name. Uh, I can do the same for last name. I'm just going to copy this. Just I'm just being a bit lazy here by copying and pasting. It just says, so enter your last name. And again, we'll assign last name. Last uh, name. Uh, so last name is now being assigned to the, the variable um, last name. Okay, so again, reading down the code, we type in, I'll type in my first name. Okay, it reads that. Type in my second name, reads that. Okay, and now I want to display that on the screen. Okay, so I'll use, a, I'll do a console uh, right line here again. Um, um, the and again, I'll use string format. Again, we would have seen this in a previous video. Um, okay, and I'll put in my name. My uh, name is, and I'll put in the zero. Okay, a space and one. Okay, I close that and assign first name. Uh, comma last name. Okay, so uh, again, uh, what will happen here is I enter my first name. Okay, it reads it in. I enter my 
last name, it reads that in, and then the console write line, just using string format, uh, my name is, and it comes to uh, the brace zero, brace, and that picks up the first variable here, okay, uh, and then one, uh, brace one, picks up the second uh, uh, variable here in the line. So let's uh, run this program and see how it looks. Okay, so I'll hit start. Okay, and compile this. And you can see there the compiler is asking me the question, enter your first name. So I'll enter my first name, which is Damien. Okay, and now it's coming up, enter your last name, okay, which is Kettle. Uh, okay, and hit return, and you can see there my name is Damien Kettle. Uh, so it read out, it assigned the very, uh, the the string Damien to the variable first name, okay, and it assigned Kettle to the variable last name, and all we've done there is print it out. Okay, uh, I'm going to close this video off, and in the next video what I'm going to do is we're going to read in uh, integers or doubles. Um, now again, there's a, the, there'll be a little bit more on this because when we bring something in from the console, uh, what I'm going to say now is anything we bring in from the console is more or less going to be a string. Anything we type in is more or less treated as a string. We'll think of it that way just at this stage of the course. Okay, uh, so we'll have to, if we're going to read in integers or doubles or any numerics, we're going to have to do a little extra line of code there. So let's look at that in our next video. Thank you for your attention.